everybody, Jack from Trading on Matrix here. I hope this video finds you well. This is our trade talk for the 22nd of March, and we're looking at a gold futures long. Uh, we like this market because it's in a multi-day, multi-week uh, upward trend. As you can see, if I just change the scale here, it's, it's very clearly in a robust upward trend. It's one of the strongest markets around at the moment, uh, being uh, with, with major fundamental drivers vis-a-vis -vis inflation and interest rates. Um, it's nice to know those. You don't necessarily need to to trade a trend. Uh, we frame this one uh, being that the the low we felt that the low of the day uh, would be put in first as we approached. Uh, I haven't got it on this chart, but a weekly value area uh, in around uh, the 1930 and below area. We felt that the market would come down here and struggle to sell off much further. <clears throat> Excuse me. We entered at 1942 with a stop at 1935, a few ticks uh, or a few dollars below uh, a lower time frame intraday zone. Um, won't go into too much detail on that in this video. Uh, nevertheless, uh, yeah, a what? Seven dollars per ounce stop. And ultimately looking to ride this out, we probably will be looking to close this one out tomorrow on a retest of today's highs. Uh, but nevertheless, we're up for R in this one. Uh, a nice simple trade, a very low maintenance. It just goes to show that buying the strongest markets and selling the weakest markets, i.e. the what to trade, the candidate selection, um, is such a huge factor. It's more important than how you trade them. Uh, that being said, you do, of course, need good strategies to align. Uh, with the candidate selection, but once you've got them both, um, you are putting the odds massively more in your favor. So yeah, happy with this one. We'll bring you an update most likely tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Wish you a pleasant day. See you tomorrow.